If you are somebody who is suffering from rosacea right now and you have been to numerous doctors who told you that rosacea is incurable and that the only thing you can do is to try avoiding triggers in order to manage your redness, forget all about this. What I want you to hear right now is that rosacea is possible to be cured and you can feel like yourself again and you can have your healthy and normal and happy life back. I'm somebody who had rosacea for 10 years of my life. I had my rosacea since I was 18 till I was 28 and now I'm 29 and I didn't have any rosacea flare up for a year already. These are my before and afters and I know that my skin doesn't look like a perfect photoshopped supermodel skin at the moment but oh my god. I couldn't be in a happier place right now with the way my skin looks at the moment. My skin feels so healthy and glowy to me right now comparing to what it had been during the last 10 years. And today I'm going to share with you what exactly I did in order to get this skin. And I'm also going to share with you all of the things that they say are supposed to help you with rosacea but they didn't do anything for me. Let's go. Welcome back my friends. If you are new on this channel, my name is Anna and here I talk about beauty, style and everything that can make us love our life a little bit more. And please support my channel by clicking the like button down below. This really helps me grow my audience and grow my channel and create more videos like this one for you. And subscribe if you haven't yet, of course. Thank you so much. Let's get back to our topic of rosacea. And before you start your rosacea journey, please make sure that what you have is actually rosacea. Any dermatologist will be able to diagnose it for you. We can never know why we get rosacea and we can never find out the exact reasons why rosacea starts. And I don't have anybody in my family who has ever had rosacea. That's why nobody could really tell me what I have and how I can get better. I was feeling really miserable during the last five years especially. The way rosacea looked for me is that I was getting redness on my face. It was focused on my cheeks in this area and on my chin. Uh, during the last two years of my rosacea, I also started having it on my nose and on my forehead in here. and. Uh, it was not only redness, it was also pimples, like breakouts that I would get. And those pimples, they were so stubborn. It It's not like a normal tiny pimple that you can just squeeze out and then it's going to be healed after two days. That is something that if you try to squeeze it, nothing will change about it. It will stay. So there is no point of trying to do anything to it. And... Actually, I had some pimples that stayed on my face for years, like for a year at least, that's for sure. Like it didn't go away, it didn't get any smaller, it didn't get any bigger, nothing changed about it. And I was just living with those things on my face and... I know how rosacea can make you feel. It can make you feel like you hate your skin and you hate yourself. And that's what happened to me. I got to the point where I was hating myself for not doing enough, for not being strong enough to deal with this problem. And I would hate the fact that I felt like I had to wear makeup to just leave my house. I had to wear makeup all the time because when I was not wearing my makeup, I felt like I looked like a monster and that I felt embarrassed of my bare skin. And the only times when I would leave my house without any makeup was to go to see a new doctor. And when I was going to see a new doctor, I would go without makeup and I would want this doctor to see my bare skin. I would want him to see how bad it is for me and how I'm suffering. And I thought that this could actually make him realize that I need help. And the feeling of visiting a new doctor every time was so... It was hard because every time you go to a new one, you are full of hope. You think, maybe this time it's going to be it. Maybe this time it's going to be a person who's going to help me and I'm finally going to be cured. But the 
disappointment every time after it doesn't work it was tremendous and it was so painful when you uh, when you go out there like I remember one time I was seeing this lady and I came to her office I showed her my skin I showed her pictures of how terrible my skin looks on some days and I was I was feeling so embarrassed of, of myself of my skin and everything that she said to me is that rosacea is incurable you can you can't do anything about it uh, you can try cilantro but really n nothing can be done so just goodbye that was that was the moment that uh, I've had enough and I decided that I'm going to do more and that I'm going to finally take serious steps and deal with it. So I think I've had enough talking. Let's get actually to the things that they say are supposed to help you, but they didn't help me at all. And in the end, I will say what helped me, in fact. Among other things that doctors say are supposed to help you with rosacea is dieting and avoiding certain types of food and drinks. And I've tried them all. I've tried not drinking alcohol, not drinking coffee, caffeine, not drinking coffee and alcohol at the same time, not eating any red fruits or vegetables, not eating anything red like ketchup as well, and like tomato paste, anything red, it was a no-no for me. Not eating gluten, not eating sugar, not eating dairy products, I had uh, phases when I had to avoid all of these products completely and all of these efforts brought me nothing. With dieting out of the way, we are moving to probiotics and vitamins. I tried taking probiotics, vitamins, different ones, didn't do a thing for me. Next thing is uh, skincare products for rosacea. Skincare products which are supposed to help with rosacea are not actually helping you cure rosacea. What they can do is that they can help you kind of soothe and calm down your breakouts a little bit, maybe dry them out a little bit, but they never really help me deal with my breakouts completely. And what skincare uh, products definitely don't do is that they don't prevent new breakouts from coming. So new breakouts uh, and new flare-ups happen anyway. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, like gentle skincare or expensive skincare products you use. But uh, bad skincare products can actually make you feel worse. So really be careful with the skincare that you use if you have rosacea. I think I will do a separate video with skincare products that I used during my rosacea years and some of them I still use right now. Another thing that you're supposed to avoid with rosacea is sun and heat and I used sunscreen every single day and it didn't improve my situation with rosacea at all. Another product which I'm sure you've heard of if you have been with rosacea for quite some time already is a magic cream called Solantra. Solantra is a prescription uh, cream which has an active ingredient which is called Ivermectin. And usually doctors say that that is the only rosacea treatment that can actually help you. And I had enormous hopes for this cream. And they say you're supposed to use it for months before you start seeing results. And I've used it every single day. I've used it for three months, for six months, for seven months. And after nine months, I understood that I'm not having any results with Solantra. Zero results happened for me with Solantra. I also tried Rosex. Rosex cream is another prescription cream which has an active ingredient called metronidazole. And I've used it at the same time as Solantra. I used it for six months, not for nine months, because... Uh, I really felt bad about this cream. It is really greasy, it is heavy, and I felt really bad while using it. I felt like my skin was getting greasy, and I felt like my breakouts are even getting bigger, and I felt like I was getting more breakouts with this cream. So I really didn't like the Rosex cream, but I kept on using it for six months. I used it every night, and I used, and I used Solantra every morning, and I didn't get any results with this cream. Creams. 
Also, I have done numerous uh, blood tests. I was testing my health. I was trying to find out what's wrong with me. I also had a SIBO test. SIBO test is a kind of a breathe, breathing test, uh, which is concerning your gut health. You are supposed to be prepared for this test. Like you don't eat anything but chicken with olive oil and drinking water for two days, which was super complicated. And then you're breathing for four hours into a special tube and then you get your results. Uh, the full name of this test is a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth test and well really lots of people don't get perfect perfect results from this test. So after taking this test a doctor prescribed me Xifaxan. Xifaxan is a local antibiotic for your gut health and I've been taking Xifaxan for about a month. And I have seen a little bit of results after taking Xifaxan on my face. And I was quite happy about it and I felt like I was on the right track. But after stopping Xifaxan, everything came back. My rosacea came back fully. And that was the moment that, that I understood that taking antibiotics might actually be a right direction for me. And I've researched the topic a lot and what I've read is that in the USA and in Europe there is a medication that is helping with rosacea and it is called Oracea or Ephrasia here in Europe. And they have different names in Europe and uh, in the United States. I managed to find a doctor who agreed with me that it's a good idea for me to take the direction of taking antibiotics. Ephrasia, the way it is called here in Europe, has an active ingredient of doxycycline. It has 40 milligrams of doxycycline. Doxycycline is quite a strong antibiotic, but 40 milligrams is not that much. And what you are supposed to do is that you take uh, Ephrasia for three months every single day. And while this might sound scary for you, antibiotics for three months, I would say it was 100% worth it for me. And I was so happy that I decided to take it. And the way you are supposed to take Ephrasia is you take it in the morning on an empty stomach and then you wait for one hour before you have breakfast. That was a good schedule for me. I was happy to have an one hour of free time before breakfast and I didn't experience any side effects with Ephrasia at all. I felt fine the whole time, my gut health was fine the whole time. I was taking prebiotics and probiotics during taking Ephrasia and after taking Ephrasia for some time. And generally, I didn't experience anything bad about this, about this, about Ephrasia. And I started seeing the results after one month and a half. I started seeing that my breakouts started going away. And after finishing Ephrasia, I had uh, like, I think like two pimples on my face, which was close to nothing. I was beyond happy. And two months after starting, uh, after stopping Ephrasia, I had zero break breakouts. My face was completely clear. And I read a lot online that people often get their rosacea back after stopping Ephrasia or Oracea, but that didn't happen to me. I didn't get any rosacea flare ups or any rosacea breakouts during the last year after I stopped Ephrasia. My skin, I, as I've already said, is, is far from perfect, but I'm so happy with the way it is. And I try to stick to a healthy diet. I try to eat as many vegetables and fruits as possible, although I know I'm far from perfect. I eat meat and fish and I drink coffee each day and uh, I drink alcohol really rarely, but sometimes I do in small quantities. I eat sugar and I eat gluten and I eat dairy products and that doesn't make my skin feel any worse. Sometimes I know when I'm eating like a big birthday cake full of cream, I know that I might get a tiny pimple the next day, but that pimple does not look like the rosacea breakouts that I used to have. It looks like, you know, a tiny little pimple that goes away after one day or two days. So that, that doesn't resemble rosacea breakouts at all. 
After about three months after stopping Efratia, I had three sessions of Lumenis M22 treatment. It is an IPL therapy, intense pulse light therapy. They also call it a photofacial. And this treatment is supposed to improve your skin color and skin texture. And that was exactly what I needed after 10 years of rosacea. My skin was a little bit red in some places. The texture was not perfect. I had enlarged pores. And three sessions of IPL helped me really a lot. I don't feel like I need to do any other sessions. I don't feel like I need to do anything else to my skin. I'm just going to continue with the skincare routine that I have right now. And I couldn't be in a happier place than I am right now. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if this video was useful for you. And I sincerely wish you to get better, for your rosacea to be cured and for you to get your healthy skin back because I know that that is possible. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.